It's ended with police charging one of their own with double murder. As a constable, Bo Lamar Condon should be a person we can all trust. But it's alleged he used his police issue gun to shoot dead his ex-boyfriend, Jesse Baird, and his new partner, Luke Davies. The big question now, where are their bodies? Get on the ground now! Why are you get on the ground now? Rookie cop, Constable Bo Lamar Condon. If you move, I will move you. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! This is Bo from MassTea.com. The teenage celebrity blogger when I was 16, I used to go to a lot of like red carpet events, and um, you know, like always had me celebrities. Now all of a sudden I'm 19 and I'm in LA and I'm at just for that the Golden Globes with like everybody. It's crazy. Who became a New South Wales police officer? Tonight he's behind bars, accused of two murders. The update is at this stage, um, charges have been submitted. Uh, for two counts of murder. Lamar Condon has been at the centre of a bizarre and mysterious police investigation. This morning, he walked in to Bondi Police Station. Detectives wanted to speak with him over the disappearance and suspected murders of his former lover and his new partner. The 28-year-old man facing uh, these charges was in a relationship with Jesse. Uh, some time ago, which finished uh, a couple of months ago, and so that'll be a lot obvious line of inquiry. Jesse Baird and Luke Davies vanished earlier this week. The alarm was raised when blood-stained clothing, a credit card, and an $8,000 watch were found dumped in a skip bin at Cronulla in Sydney South. Police rushed to Jesse's inner city, Paddington Terrace, where they found large amounts of blood and signs of a struggle. What are you treating this as at the moment? A uh, suspicious missing person. Two suspicious missing persons. Are we not treating this as a murder, maybe suicide? We aren't excluding. Murder? We're not excluding any lines of inquiry. We are investigating um, everything we can. Today, police revealed they also found a fired bullet and a cartridge case. Detective Superintendent Danny Doherty from the Homicide Squad. This has now been uh, ballistically matched to a New South Wales police firearm. The gun has allegedly been found checked in to a police station firearm safe. And that firearm belongs uh, to the 28-year-old man we've charged today. A white van has now been located, but police are trying to track where it's been. We will allege in court that van was used to uh, transport the bodies, we were alleging court, transport the bodies um, and dispose of the bodies. Last night, police swooped on Lamar Condon's mother's home at Balmain. A current affair has been told she's an ex-police officer. This afternoon, Lamar Condon fronted court. He didn't apply for bail and was remanded in custody until the end of April. You're absolutely right, guys. Darkness to daylight is back in... 26-year-old Jesse Baird, a former TV presenter. Good luck. This one is going to be epic. His partner, Luke Davies, a 29-year-old Qantas flight attendant. Lamar Condon was Jesse Baird's boyfriend. They broke up last year. Soon after joining the police force in 2018, Constable Lamar Condon was at the centre of an internal police investigation. The inquiry focused on footage of Constable Lamar Condon tasering a man in Darlinghurst. Do you have a warrant? No, just a copy that, thank you. Do you have a warrant? He was later cleared of any wrongdoing. Hey guys, this is Bo from that. Before putting on the blue uniform, Lamar Condon was a celebrity blogger photographed with a string of celebs. Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, Harry Styles, Selena Gomez, and Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, when I was 16, I first told her that I was gay, and then at about three months ago, she announced it to my family at her concert in Sydney. But she came out for me, so she's 100% more an idol 
and the mental to me. In his podcast, Lamar Condon spoke of his gay pride. I knew if I did it in front of 15,000 people, there would be no turning back. And crime editor Simon Boda joins me now. Simon, I mean, at the heart of this, you have families grieving two young men mm. with no idea where they are. That's got to be the hardest thing to, for anyone to fathom. When you think about the family and friends of Jesse and Luke, um, you know, they know that they're missing. They've now been told they're murdered. But where are the bodies, as, as you rightly said in the introduction? And that's now become the focus for the Homicide Squad. That's their, their priority. They're now aiming everything at now trying to track that white van that I spoke about to see where it went. Um, it's covered a lot of ground around Sydney, from Newcastle down to the southern suburbs of Sydney. It's been placed in those locations. Whereabouts are those bodies? Somewhere around that area? That's, that's what the police are now trying to find that answer because they want to go back to the families mm -hmm. and give them back their loved ones. Oh, we know how important that is, right? Mm. Um, do we know if Lamar Condon is cooperating with police? Look, Ali, I haven't been told personally, but I think if you look at the facts as we know them now, he walked into Bondi Police Station at 10.30 this morning. By 2pm, he's been charged with two counts of murder. I can't imagine that the police would have had a chance to interview him properly. If, if, if they, and if he was cooperating, I would imagine they would have questioned him for hours before they got to that point of charging. But the charging happened very quickly and he was in court very soon after. That tells me, by my assumption, that he's not cooperating at this stage. It's just moved so fast, hasn't it? A few days ago they were alive and well. How can the police be so sure they're not alive? Well, obviously, they're not going to go... The police aren't going to go to the family and say they've been murdered without having the evidence that they believe will support that. I suspect they've gathered a mountain of evidence from that terrace house at Paddington, which will lead police to, obviously, lay those charges. Now, with those charges laid, with that evidence, the police wouldn't have gone back to the family and said their loved ones have been murdered unless they had proof of that murder. So I think the police, unfortunately, are confident that's the case. Yep. It's now a matter of just finding those bodies and getting them back to the loved ones. And also, if you look at it from the other perspective, from the investigative point of view, they want to establish a cause of death. We know that the gun's been found, but they want to establish exactly how these two men died. Yep, still a lot of answers they need. Thanks for that, Simon.